We're going to need a few different sizes of combination wrenches. We have a 24 millimeter, a 1 inch, a 13 millimeter, and a 10 millimeter. We're also going to need a few different sizes of screwdrivers. We have a long shafted number 2 Phillips, we have a 5 16 inch flat, we have a 1 8 inch flat, and we have a tiny uh, jeweler screwdriver here. It's also flat, it's useful for prying out o rings and seals with. Now, as we look down into the pump, uh, we can see the rest of the feed pump assembly. And it consists of a rotor and four blades that sit in slots on the roller, and also a liner that surrounds those parts. Um, this is probably one of the trickier parts of taking the pump apart because all four of those blades need to sit in their respective grooves. They can't be interchanged and they can't be flipped around. So we need to take that rotor out and maintain the positions of those blades at the same time. Okay, we have our torque wrench set to nine foot pounds. And we'll just tighten these till it clicks. And if you have a flat bit that has a 3 8 drive, you can also use that in the torque wrench. Um, or again, you can just tighten this slotted one down tight with your hands.